So guys, I'm going to start with a, a trick question today. What is India's uh, space research organization, ISRO, famous for? Now, you'll say, what, a, what kind of a silly question this is. Obviously, they're famous for their iconic spacecraft, you know, Chandrayaan-3, Aditya L1. But I told you it's a trick question. You know, uh, besides all of these iconic spacecraft, what they are famous for, what they're actually a world champion of is a new sport. And that sport is called space. Gulail. Space Gulail. <laughs> you know what Gulail is, right? You remember in school we used to use the slingshot, the Gulail? That's what uh, ISRO is famous for, Space Gulail. Now, why do I say they are famous for uh, Space Gulail? Because the kind of technology that they use, you know, it's almost proprietary. It's a slingshot technology which they have perfected uh, uh, via which they can uh, launch these spacecraft very, very cheaply. Now, what is this uh, slingshot uh, technology? What they use is the, the spacecraft actually goes round and round the earth using the gravitational force, using the energy from the sun uh, and uh, in, in larger elliptical orbits and there comes a moment, there comes a point uh, in the gravitational uh, space where they are able to use the slingshot and get on to the uh, gravitational space of the target object, uh, of the moon, the target planet. This ISRO has perfected. They, uh, uh, and, and you've heard how they use, uh, you know, uh, a very, very stunning sum of money that they only invested $75 million. You've heard this over and over again, $75 million, which is less than 25% the cost of Hollywood films like Avengers and Avatar, right? You've heard that over and over again. That's how they do it. That's how they use this frugal innovation. Now, why did they have to do this frugal innovation? Because... Uh, in the 50s and 60s, when India's space program started, we were a very poor country. We were just emerging into independence. Uh, and, and, uh, and on top of that, in the 70s, in 74, when we exploded the nuclear device at Pokhran, the entire Western world sanctioned us. So we were not given dual-use technologies. We were, not, we were denied access to other technologies. So we could not use uh, what the West had. Uh, we had to create our own technologies, and, and they had to be cheap. Therefore, we came up with this... Space Gulail uh, slingshot technology, and that's uh, that's something that you truly have to admire. It's spectacular. It's spectacularly admirable. But get this word admirable. I admire it. I do not celebrate it. Uh, and I want you to get the difference. Great admiration, but no celebration. Because uh, you know, uh, in 1969, more than half a century ago, America, Apollo 11. Uh, reached the moon in only about four days. Yes, they, they burnt a lot of fuel. Uh, yes, they invested a heck of a lot of more money, but they reached the moon in four days. Uh, three years back, China, China reached the moon in a week. We, using this slingshot technology of ours, took six weeks to reach the moon. Now, four days, one week, six weeks. It's almost as if uh, we have ignored the the, the precious value of time. You know, time is very precious. And remember, India today is not the India of the 50s and 60s. Today, we are spoken of in the same breath as America, China, and India, the three global powers. We are an emerging one, but we are right there in the line. We've got a large economy. We've got a missile program. We've got a space program. We are a recognized nuclear power like, all, like America and China. Therefore, we are in that club of three where we are uh, a big player. We now need to stop celebrating frugal innovation. You know, this frugal innovation is also linked to one uh, other word which we celebrate in this country, and that word is called jugaad. You know, you've heard this over and over again, jugaad. And this is uh, cheap innovation, very uh, uh, innovation at the small community level, innovation at the individual level to address uh, an individual or a small community pain point. You know, you've heard about how um, uh, they get economies of scale by making lassi in a washing machine. Uh, therefore, they can get, uh, they can make large amounts of lassi uh, at one go. You've heard about how, you know, uh, farmers use plastic bottles to simulate a drip irrigation system. Now, this is all, again, very admirable uh, because these are small communities. These are individuals addressing a pain point. This cannot, this cannot become the foundation for a powerful country's strategic choices in something as critical as the space program. Therefore, it's about time that India says goodbye to frugal innovation. It served us very, very well, but now we need to understand the value of time. Now we need to understand that America 
landed a man on the moon in four days 50 years ago, more than 50 years ago. We now need to understand that we as a, an emerging power who, which can stand shoulder to shoulder with America and China, we need to now close this gap. We need to invest much more in our space program. We need to co-opt the private sector. We need to now look upon our space program as not just the ability to reach an object in the space, but our ability to put a space station there, to put human beings there, to mine for minerals there, to use that space station as a slingshot uh, into further exploration into the space. Therefore, the time has come for us to think next about our space program. Frugal innovation, well done, it's in the past. Uh, more investments, closing the gap with America and China, co-opting the private sector, yes, that's uh, how we will think next and expand and accelerate uh, the scope of our space program. So India, time to, if I was to use mixed metaphors here, time to go, to go nuclear uh, in the space program. That's the think next idea for you.